Hello everybody and welcome back. Alright, today we're going to go over a couple of things in regards to uh, graphics. A um, couple of tweaks we made and uh, I'm going to show you the results of, uh, of all that. Uh, but first off, I want to give a shout out to a YouTube channel called Island Sim Pilot. Um, if you uh, haven't heard of Island Sim Pilot or you've never been to his site, I would highly recommend you go over and uh, check it out. Uh, a lot of great advice uh, coming from there. And uh, uh, today's uh, examples are going to, two of today's examples uh, came from him. So I highly recommend you uh, go over and check out his sites. Um, the videos that helped get got uh, that helped get me to where I am now. A pilot walking through the stairs. <laughs> uh, but uh, the videos that helped get me to where I am now, uh, I'm gonna post links in the description down below, uh, so you can go over and check them out for yourself. So if you haven't uh, checked out Island Sim Pilot, I highly, highly recommend you uh, go over and. Uh, do that he puts a lot of work into uh, researching uh, graphics and DLSS and uh, stuff like that for flight sim and uh, really helped uh, get my flight sim looking great so go over and uh, check that out okay so let's uh, get right to it a um, couple things uh, first off uh, the first uh, um, changes we made were uh, tweaks to the Microsoft uh, Flight Sim config uh, files <clears throat> that had to do with the lenses and the way uh, the way we uh, we see the flight sim um, through the lens. Um, this uh, these tweaks are uh, really help. Uh, let you see the flight sim more through like looking through eyes rather than uh, looking through a glass camera lens uh, and uh, they really help the sim um, look good uh, something to do with uh, we got rid of uh, the sharpening we turned that off we, uh, dirt uh, whatever that is I'm not sure uh, um, what the dirt was all about uh, dirt on the lens I have no clue but uh, we turned that off we turned off uh, sun f uh, flares uh, stuff like that um, really went a long way to help the the sim look uh, look great um, but a couple of days after that uh, yeah I got to set up GSX for this I got guys driving through containers and everything else I don't this is Boston Logan I don't have the GSX uh, uh, set up or configured for this airport but uh, anyways that's not what we're here about we're here about uh, about uh, the graphics but um, if you look around look at the buildings um, in the distance um, they just look so the lines look so uh, crisp and clean and if you look at the buildings here at the airport uh, this is Boston Logan um, just stunning um, look at the edges along the uh, top of the buildings and uh, stuff. Just beautiful. Even the poles. There's none of that uh, that weird uh, shimmering from the poles and uh, and uh, stuff like that. And um, yeah, the optics just look great. <clears throat> so yeah, the number one. Um, first tweaks are the config files um, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, again, I'll leave the link in for the video on a how-to. I'm not going to show you a how-to. This is just to show you um, the results of some of the graphics that we're getting here. Okay, the second thing uh, that I want to talk about is uh, DLSS version 3.7 um, a couple of days after uh, learning about these lens uh, corrections in the config file um, Island Sim Pilot came out with um, a couple of videos on um, updates to uh, 
NVIDIA's DLSS and um, the new version. <coughs> um, so NVIDIA has come out with uh, DLS, excuse me, DLSS 3.7 and uh, it's looking um, pretty good. Um, but there's something different about this DLSS uh, release. Um, this time um, they've added um, a preset uh, profile that wasn't there before. Uh, it's a preset called uh, E as in Echo. And uh, it's mainly for developers, but it really helps uh, um, just make the sim look fantastic. Just fantastic. Um, as you can see, everything is sharp and crisp and clean and, you know, you get proper reflections. Um, just, just stunning. Just stunning. But, uh, yeah, in Island Sim Pilot's, uh, video, uh, I'll link that one too. Um, he's got two videos on that. He posted one and then a day later he posted another one. Um, where it, uh, where, um, it's a lot easier to, uh, to make these, uh, these changes. But, uh, yeah, in his video, he walks you step by step on, uh, how to, uh, how to implement these, uh, these changes if you want. Um, these, uh, presets, um, the Echo preset, uh, so far, looking awesome just fantastic let's switch over cameras here we'll put her on the uh, drone camera and we'll go up just take a peek around as you can see it just looks absolutely stunning uh, the green there on the grass doesn't I don't know I guess that's looks okay but uh, yeah just beautiful buildings in the background look nice and uh, clean and sharp and you know even way off on the little island over there you can see the end the antennas sticking up and stuff like that just uh, just great the clouds look fantastic um, but what's really getting me is the um, the aliasing, um, the anti-aliasing. If you look at uh, stuff, there's nothing uh, like tweaking, like uh, the edges. There's no shimmering on the containers, and uh, you know, like the ridges, like the top of the containers. There, they all look clean, and you know, the lines look good. They're not shimmering all over the place. Let's change the uh, time of day and take a look at what it looks like at night. Like, look at the um, the light poles. <clears throat> uh, getting over a cold here. Um, the light poles look great. Um, they're not all jiggly and shimmering, and you know they look like light poles. Let's go over and change the uh, the time of day here. And uh, see what it looks like at nighttime here. I've got no lights on the aircraft, but uh, yeah, just look at just stunning, absolute stunning. You know, there's a little tiny, tiny bit of that shimmer on this light pole here, but. Uh, Oh, so much better than it was. And just the edges of the building and, you know, when you're just looking around, it's just stunning. See the poles again? The light poles look great. And, uh, let's bring it up to, uh, dusk 
just different times of the day so you can see it under under different conditions. I've been flying Microsoft Flight Sim since the days of uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 98. <laughs> so long, long time. And I can absolutely 100% tell you that uh, in all my years of uh, flying flight sim, I've never had um, a flight sim look so good. And uh, I've flown them all. P3D, X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, by far, this is the best flight sim that, uh, that I've had to date. Um, so yeah, just giving you a look around and uh, just wanted to show you the results. Um, I left a comment on Island Flight Sim site saying that I'm going to post a video just to show the results of, uh, of the tweaks. And buttery, buttery smooth. So I've updated uh, my DLSS using the DLSS swapper um, to the latest version 3.7 and uh, and I followed uh, Island Sim Pilot's instructions and went through and uh, <clears throat> and uh, implemented that uh, Echo preset um, for the DLSS which uh, NVIDIA just released. Um, apparently it was never there before and uh, now uh, NVIDIA has released it. It's actually a preset for uh, for developers but uh, works great in the uh, in the sim. Let's jump into the cockpit so you can have a look around it uh, how it looks in the cockpit um, just looks fantastic all right got nothing set up here wasn't doing a flight just wanted to uh, to um, show around the the graphic settings um, just just beautiful um, you know all <laughs> If you look around at all the edges and everything, there's no, uh, you know, there's no aliasing going on. Everything's clean, right? Look around at some of the different uh, panels, right? Let's change the time of day again. Let's bring the sun back out. Um, just wanted to give you a clean look at uh, just how how great everything looks and a slight slight jitter um, you might see a slight slight jitter as I'm moving my view around um, but that's uh, that's because I'm recording um, when I'm not recording, um, it's buttery smooth. I'll give you a quick look at my main uh, graphics here. And there you go. You can see we're uh, running in uh, 4K. I'm using NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. I got the, super, the DLS, uh, DLSS Super Resolution on DLAA. Um, yeah, it's taxing my system, but I think I finally got it to that balance where it's just sweet now. When I'm not recording, it's just like, I got no stutters, no, uh, nothing like that. Um, I also, I also use, uh, auto FPS, um, also a great little tool combined with these tweets, just sims just running fantastic. Um, but yeah, this is uh, my main um, my main uh, graphics here when it comes to NVIDIA and the DLSS. 
right? The rest of it's all set on ultra and high. The Vulture, uh, the uh, the um, auto FPS controls my clouds, my uh, texture resolution, or my terrain uh, uh, TLOD and LOD. Yeah, mouthful. Getting all tongue tied today. But uh, yeah, just to give you, sh so you could see what kind of uh, graphics I'm running there. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you, uh, do a quick video, um, nothing fancy, just a quick look around at uh, at the graphics and the, the cockpit and the uh, the outside of the aircraft, just fantastic. You know, yeah, yeah. So I would highly recommend it. Be worth going over and taking a look, and uh, and um, yeah, seeing about implementing these and uh, getting your uh, DLSS um, updated and uh, stuff like that. So we'll leave it there. Um, just wanted to give a quick look at uh, the graphic settings. Just look at the shine on the aircraft and the, the wings. And uh, yeah, just fantastic. I couldn't be happier with the way my sim's looking right now. And uh, yeah, just wanted to give you a um a look at uh what the advice from island sim pilots uh videos can achieve and uh let you see it for yourself so we'll leave it right there folks and uh keep this one a relatively short one um just a quick peek to uh to see so once again head over to island sim pilot um Give his videos uh, um, a check, a check out, and uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed if you uh, try implementing these uh, for yourself. All right, there you have it, folks. Until next time, stay safe and uh, keep the blue side up. We'll talk to you later.